Okay, so we're gonna reconfigure this lithium battery here for 12 volts. Currently, this headway cell is set up for 24 volts. And if we read across the terminals right here, you will get 24 volts. So the first thing we're gonna actually do is basically remove all the side panels, all this taped up stuff, all the wiring. And what we're gonna to need to do that is a screwdriver, a cutter, and a knife. So let's just get in here and start removing stuff. All this has to come off. We're gonna save these little covers right here, so don't throw them away and don't mess them up. So once you get the first layer off, you'll notice on the sides here, there's a couple of these terminals that are screwed onto this board. We wanna remove all these terminals, okay? We're going to remove these little screws with the screwdriver here, but what I'm gonna do is actually put them right back in the hole because I want to save them for later. All right, once you got those out, we're going to come back here. There's two on the main terminals here. We're going to remove them as well. We're not going to reuse any of this wiring. Okay, so if you look down here, down the side here of this center piece, there's going to be more taps. These are also for the balancing for the 24 volts. We're not going to need them. Uh, just yet, so we're going to remove them, and there's more on the other side, right here, and right there. Now what we're going to do is cut all these wires out and remove everything. Alright, so once you're done, you'll have your wire loom right here. We're not going to use any of this stuff, so we're going to put it aside. And now you have just the batteries. So let me tell you what I'm going to do to reconfigure this battery for 12 volts that's not like the normal videos that you see on the internet. So all the videos that you see on the internet, they're gonna want you to cut this right here and separate it, because this is your 24 volts right here. They want you to cut this right here and separate it. You end up with a positive and a negative and a positive and negative. And you've gotta cross these, two positives and two negatives with a weird little jumper. I'm gonna do away with all that and I'll show you how. On the bottom of the pack here, you notice that these two lines just go down like this. And I'll show you what they do. Basically, we're gonna leave these just like they are. Now basically, we have them going this way and this way, but right now they go down, then they come up here and they go down here, and they go up here, and that's how you end up with the positive and the negative. What I'm gonna do is turn this whole bank negative and these two banks positive. Then what I'm gonna do is cut this little bar off and I'm gonna mount it right across those two terminals there. That way all I end up with is the top negative and positive. So whenever I have this in a vehicle, I can sit up right just like this and I can have positive here, negative here. Let's do it. So unfortunately to achieve this method, basically what you have to do is remove one half of the bank. So basically all these cells right here have to come out and you just flip them upside down and you put it back together. Because right now these run in series, you're gonna flip this around and run them in parallel. So in this case right here, I have this one positive. I want this one to be negative. So I'm going to flip this half of the cell here. So this one here and this one here is going to flip. That way this one can be positive and this one can be negative as well. If you check it right now, that's positive, that's negative, we need to reverse that. So we're gonna take all these cells out, flip them over, stick them back in, easy peasy. So basically to do that, we're gonna to have to pop off all the end caps. Every one of these is gonna to have to come off. Okay, so once you get all these out, you can just remove these. Like that, this one will come out. Just like, like that. So now you can see the inside of the cell pack here. Basically, these are positive and the black are negative. So right now it goes positive, negative, positive, negative. We want to reverse these. Basically, if you check these right now, there's 12 volts here and there's 12 volts here. It's just backwards. If you wanted to do like most people do and run the little jumper from here, then to here, that's fine. But you're limited through all that current going through that little jumper. And I think it's kind of looks stupid. I think I can make this look a whole lot better. So all we're gonna have to do is pull this top panel apart, flip it over, pull the bottom panel apart, flip these two around, and we'll be good to go. So we're gonna pull these bolts out from the side right here. These big bolts hold the entire pack together. Just like that. Now, we should be able to remove the whole half of the pack. Don't lose these. Check that out. That's all the cells right there. With the tops off. Now everything's going to start coming apart. We're going to have to remove the bottom plates as well. 
and uh, we could flip this whole side of the cells after that. All right, so we're gonna remove these as well. All right. All right, now we can pull these plates off as well. Now we have basically just the cells here. They're connected in the middle, but all we want to do is flip half of the bank, just half. I want to flip it over. I'll show you. Okay, so once you get to this point right here, all you have to do is pull off just half of this bank right here, like that. Now you'll notice that there's four individual sections here. If you lift them up, they come out in four sections, one, two, three, four. So we want to keep this one like it is, and we just want to move this one and this one, pull them out, flip them upside down, stick them back in. That simple. All right, just like this. They're connected in the middle right there by that piece right there. That's the series bar in the middle. We're going to flip these over just like that and put them back into the hole they just come out of. Okay, we're going to slide them down. You'll notice that all this is negative now. Now we're going to flip this one over and make all of this positive. Very simple. Alrighty. Okay, so once you got all these back together, you can go ahead and put this guy back in. Keep in mind the orientation, the way it came out. There's little notches here. You see that? Little notches. I'm going to put that back in, squish it back down all the way to the bottom, just like that. Now we can take this piece here and go ahead and put it back on the same way that it came off. Just like so and install all the bolts. Now when you're doing this, you want to make sure you put all these in by hand to start with. You want to make sure that these have a good amount of torque on them, but you don't want to break them off. But you do want to make sure that they're pretty tight. So when I put these back on, I'm going to use a socket, not the screwdriver. I'm going to just to start them by hand so they don't strip. If you strip these, it's the actual battery itself that will strip and you definitely don't want that. Okay, once you got all these put in right here, you got them kind of snugged up, we're gonna go ahead and flip this over and carefully, when you do so, you wanna make sure that all these little keepers stay in. You can see I had a couple of them fall out. Go ahead and put those back in if they did fall out. If not, go ahead and flip this over. Now that we're upside down, we can see where we're at. Once you put this back on, like this, very carefully, boom, look at that. So now the way that this is set up, negative, positive, all this is positive. So what I'm actually gonna do is cut a little slit out right here, that way my little jumper bar can go across. So I'm gonna do that now off camera. So I basically cut a little notch right here. Don't worry about that, it's kinda ugly. But basically what we're gonna do is when we put this back on here, okay, now when I cut these bars off, okay, so I'm going to cut these bars off flush with the top right here. When we reassemble them, we'll have a positive side and a negative side. Okay, so I cut these two little bars right here. All I did was cut the little tops off of them. So now they're ready to go back on. Okay, so this one here is going to go just like that. That one's going to go just like that. Now I didn't have to cut the whole bar. All I did was cut the tops off here. This one here is ready to go in just like that. We're going to go ahead and screw all the bolts in and see where we're at. Okay, so now we have the voltage complete right here. We're going to check this out and show you that it is 12 volts and where it is 12 volts. So if I take my meter right here and I put it on the voltage setting, this should be zero. This should be 12 volts with the positive on the red and it should be the same over here. So my negative is the same. My positive is the same, 13.2, 13.2. So when I put that little jumper bar across there, I'm just gonna take the included bar right here. I'm gonna cut these little ends off and I'm gonna put them across just like that. And I'm gonna bolt it down. Now I'll have 13 volts across the top and I'm gonna use basically, this is my positive side, that's my negative side. It's that simple, no weird crazy jumpers, no X things like that, just this right here, using only the parts that came with the battery to make something that's compact, easy to go, and you can put it right in your vehicle. The cool thing about this setup too is once you're done with it, 
you can just have this whole pack and you can use the handles if you want to and then your power wire just comes directly on the top here or however you want to set to me this just gives you a little bit cleaner option and uh, it's not really that much more work to do but before we're going to be done here we've got to take this long bolt we're going to feed them down through here put our spacers back in and cinch everything back up Okay, so this is that piece after I've cut it. Now all I have to do is drill two holes in there and then bolt it down. So I learned this trick on TikTok. Basically what you're gonna do is take a piece of tape, lay it across your holes there, take your marker, mark out your holes, then when you peel it off, you stick it on your copper bar, you can see right through there, just like that. Now what we're gonna do is drill those holes out quarter inch, then it should be ready to bolt on. All right, so we take our piece, drop it on there. Absolutely perfect. If you're using just this little one, you can use the same bolts, but when you put some bigger stuff on there, you're gonna need to use some longer bolts. Now we're gonna go around and we're gonna tighten every single bolt on the whole unit. Cool, so now we are complete. This is the bottom, and we flip this over. This is the top, you see the little bar going across there. We're gonna check voltage just one more time. 13.2 across the top, no big deal. No funky deals on there, just positive here, negative here. This is all negative. That's positive, just like that. Now you can go ahead and put these back on or do however you want. Uh, I actually like to just cut these off right here across the top and just use the actual square portion of the cell. And uh, yeah, so tell me what you guys think. One last thing, if you're going to use this uh, battery pack, you need a little balancer. And the balancer that I'm going to use right here, uh, a guy named Milo John sent me onto these. And I'll post a little link down below where you can buy this from. But this is an automatic 4S balance board. Basically, once you get this all put on there, you could basically just double side sticky tape it on there or something. And basically, you can hide all your wires. And this is just part of the board. You don't ever have to worry about it. If you did everything just like I did, you're going to have your negative up here. Then you're going to have B1, B2 down here, and then B3 right here, and then B4 positive right here. So you go negative one at that tab. Two is on this plate, three is here, four is here. You may have to run just a tiny, tiny little jumper wire from here to here to make sure that these balance together. So just the tiniest little bitty jumper wire from there to there. But basically one of these plates here, both of these plates are gonna to be together. They're going to be your battery two positive.